On our side, the Spanish Chamber of Commerce in the UK remains available as ever. To be of use bridging the gaps and ensuring there is a constant and fluent dialogue between companies, you all members, public institutions and civil society. You can count on us and our work to make that happen. I'm sure that uh, under Eduardo's stewardship, the strategy and many projects carried out by the Chamber will be reinforced. Secondly, let me very briefly speak about the bilateral relation between Spain and UK. May I insist on the idea that the overall relations between Spain and United Kingdom have never been as close as they are today in 500 years. I know no Spaniard um, needs any lectures about how precious democratic institutions, the rule of law and human rights are given the history of Spain during the 20th century. So I hope, and it is the determination of my Prime Minister and the government she leads to strain every sinew to find a way forward. The Queen. Whichever shape Brexit takes, David, we are certain that your country, one we all love and cherish, one many of us call home, will continue to be a major pleasure in Europe due to Britain's status as one of the greatest contributors to European culture, Western civilization and modernity. Mr. Dlidington is responsible for overseeing constitutional affairs, including the devolution consequences of Brexit and maintaining the integrity of the Union, a goal that we know well in Spain how sensitive this issue is, Mr. Lidington. One of the most enjoyable political events I attended last year was the annual Tertullias meeting in the historic city of Bath. Indeed, one of the reasons I think Tertullius is so successful is the depth of business engagement, which surpasses, in my experience, that in a number of other institutionalized dialogues the UK has with other European countries. I hope, in looking forward to the Tertullias in Malaga, later this year, that we will be able to meet in Malaga, not just to renew old friendships and discuss our mutual relations, but to do so satisfied that we have worked together to recalibrate that relationship between the United Kingdom and the European Union in a way that leaves the whole of Europe more resilient, stronger in the face of international uh, political and economic challenges than I fear might otherwise be the case.